describe what you do when people say the N-word as a coach? Well, as a coach, uh, number one, is one of my ten rules I have. And uh, I, I just don't think it's a word to be said. Um, if they do say it, I do punish them. And if, uh, if they don't learn the first time, I'll punch the team and uh, have them run. But uh, hopefully they'll learn after the first time so I'll have to punch the team for another kid's actions. I told them from the first day, first meeting we had of the year, in the, in, in, uh, beginning of the year, we sat down. I told them a couple rules about tardiness and uh, some other rules that we'll, be on, we'll make sure we go to class, make sure we're on time. And I told them about the N-word. I told them there's no forms of the N-word being used. With the E-R, with the A, any form of that word, the root word, is, it's just a negative word, it's a hateful, hurtful word. Word, and it, all it does is promote hate. You gotta teach. I mean, you gotta teach kids and, and the youth of today what's right and what's wrong at times. You can't let things go. Uh, back in college, no one used the word. I, I think we know how, uh, growing up, I think people knew how hurtful the word, how, how bad the word was. Uh, I think as we get older, people say it more and more in music. It's used by every nationality in, 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 the, in the world now. I just think it's a word that's spread in different terms, and if people say it's in different meanings, but it still has the same root. And it's a word that should never be used. It was used for, uh, in, a, in a hurtful way back a long time ago. So it's a word that's mainstream right now. Um, just like hello. <laughs> that's the way people use it as. Uh, it's, and it's, there's two different words. Hello and the N word are two different words. And, and I, think it's, I think society has desensitized people from being more personable. Call them, hello Frank, hello Scott. They just say the N word. What's up my N word? And that's why I think society is so so hurtful and so angry now. I think a lot of times if you know somebody better, you have more feelings and more passion and more love to them. But um, I just, if you don't give a person a face, a name, it's easy to hurt them, easy to harm them, or easy to stay away from them or just not even respect them. But if you respect them, you're going to call them by their name. I think when I played in the NBA, you never heard the word uh, back then. I think now, like I said, it's a different generation. Kids are younger. Uh, people let it go longer and longer. They let it slide. People hear it every day in music, and it, it, it's promoted. And uh, I just don't think it's a word that should be used, especially in the professional field. Have you ever been called the word before? I have. By someone white? Yeah, by someone white. One time I was pitching. I was uh, down south, and so playing. I think I was playing professionally at the time for okay. the Blue Jays and the minor league team. Someone I heard someone yelled, "You get tired yet?" Er, n word with the er at the end. And but you know that's that was down south. But it's it's like I said, it, it's all over the world. Um, and the scary thing about it is when, as, as this country, its world grows, and as much as we travel, and we use that word in different countries, it just gives other people in different countries to say the word, without them knowing the root, root meaning of it, the, how hurtful it is, the history of it, and it's, it's a word that just grows, and I think it should be just stops being said all along, everywhere. My parents really never spoke about the word of it. I just knew never to say it. I never heard them say it. I just think about how tough they had it growing up. We have it easy now in this world. I mean, we think our struggles are tough. Think about my parents are 84, 82. Think about their struggles with the word, their struggles in life even just to get to vote, their struggles in life to drink the same water fountain. Oh, a, a hateful, that word was used in anger and hate back in the day. And I feel like there's no the root of that word should be used at all. There's no friendship or, or anything positive coming out of that word. You mentioned your way of doing coaching and, and approaching the N-word. How do you think other coaches approach the N-word with regards to the players? Should they be doing more? I think, uh, especially when you get to college, I think it's a time to teach kids rights and, rights and wrongs. It's, it's, you're propelling them to become men, gentlemen in life. And uh, I know some coaches allow people to say the N-word. I just don't think it's appropriate. Um, I, I had a situation one time when uh, I had an argument about a coach with another coach saying that's the way that he said that's the way they grew up. It doesn't matter how someone grew up. It matters if it's right or wrong to be said. And if they if they do say it, I think it's our job to teach them not to say it. Uh, if you're not going to IBM, you're not going to uh, a job interview, telling your boss, I deserve this work job, uh, my N-word. you you, you got to be respectful. you got to know other words to use and, and, and do the right things to, to better yourselves in life. And uh, as a college coach, that's what we should be doing, teaching kids rights and wrongs uh, and making themselves better and preparing them for life.